be real, be authentic. Okay. I think the most extreme project in your extreme life <laughs> is the creation of a being you call Pentru uh, We met Lady J in 1993 in New York. And it was basically love at first sight. And from that day on, we started to dress more and more the same. And we became lovers during that year. And as we got closer and closer and talked about how much we were in love, we both said, it's strange, but it's this urge to not just be in love with you, but to become you to be absorbed into you, to become just one. Like when you make love and come together, that that's a moment when you both become one being. Word Johnny. So at the beginning of the Psychic Bible, which is the apocryphal scriptures of Genesis Briar Peorge, it's dedicated to, and I quote, my other half, the angelic being, Lady Jane Briar Peorge. 1969 to 2007. She is still here. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself again. Genesis P. Orge basically created the entire genre of industrial music along with Cabaret Voltaire in 1976. And they coined the phrase industrial music for an industrial people. Now, this is with a band Throbbing Gristle. And their shows are full of disturbing images, and which were meant to evoke the darkness and the obsessive nature and side of the human condition. And without this initial spark, we wouldn't have bands like Nine Inch Nails or Skinny Bobby or Front 242. In 1976, I was born. In 1981, they founded Psychic TV. The theory here was that mainstream TV was a form of indoctrination and control. Psychic TV was not just a musical outfit. It was a video thing. It was an art collective. And this was marked by a period of intense collaboration with the likes of Brian Geisen and William Burroughs. They released 14 albums in the span of 18 months. This was in 1981. There was no such thing as a digital audio workstation. There was no such thing as a laptop. Now along the same time, he, along with others, founded an occult collective called Topi, or The Temple of Psychic Youth, which is best described as a mashup of punk rock, Aleister Crowley, and chaos magic. Shenanigans ensued. In the later 80s, Psychic TV, and especially Genesis Fjord, starting into techno, they met Fred Gianelli, who, as it turns out, worked with Richie Hahn on the Plus 8 record label. Now, GPO and Fred, along with others, basically fronted a whole bunch of made-up techno acts and created a sense of a healthy acid house scene that existed in the UK. It was all just a front. But out of that came, well, everything else ravey. It was around this time that they started getting involved in things like genital piercings and scarification and tattoos, basically paving the way for the modern primitive scene. In 1993, Genesis met Lady J, and they fell so madly in love with each other that they literally decided to adopt a gender neutral pronoun and become one another. Lady J becoming more male, Genesis becoming more female. Talk about devotion. This is called the Pandadyne Project. On October 9th, 2007, however, Lady J. Briar Peorge passed away. These are all simple footnotes in the life of a very fascinating multitude of individuals. Any one of these individual little topics is worth an entire video series on their own. And the sheer volume of rabbit holes to explore here is unreal. It's important to contextualize his ideas and his contributions to culture. He grew up and participated in an era where being yourself and discovering yourself was complicated, subversive, and took ingenuity. 
Now we live in an era where every computer is potentially a studio, every phone a video editing suite or a media distribution channel. And yet, and yet, now the newest forms of music are charitably recontextualized as the worst of consumer culture. Rebellion has been co-opted to be nothing but a shill for the establishment. Christ, he was remixing when it was still called cut up. I suspect in a hundred years, we'll look back upon his work as if he's Immanuel Kant or perhaps even Plato. So yeah, I was pretty excited when I got a chance to see them perform. 